One of our favorite chef, Laura, from Celebrated Cuisine, has been showing us how to make a really yummy Italian dessert. And it looks like we're almost done with at least part of it because we've got the little moussey thing, the little chocolate. What do you The panna cotta. Thank you. In the, the cups. In the cups. In the fridge. They're chilling. Yes. So how long, I mean, if, if we weren't on, exactly, they're chilling out. <laughs> if we weren't on TV time, um, how long would we need to get those to set? At, at least three hours. Okay. Okay, but then after that, and what's really cool about those two is that uh, you can make them up to four days ahead, and you can freeze them. <gasps> I'm a freezer girl. I want a whole cookbook yeah. on freezer-friendly meals. Oh, okay. Actually... Like things that I can just like make all weekend. No, that's you know, it, it, and that's a really good point. In my because, spare time. Because, right. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we do want that kind of thing. So here we are. We're going to now, while that's chilling out, we're going to make a couple of different sauces. We're okay. going to start with our cherry sauce, okay? So this is a combination. This is in here I have um, balsamic vinegar, just a really? little bit, and ruby port, okay? What's ruby port? Ruby port is a type of port, you know, obviously made in Portugal, okay? okay? So it's, it's an alcohol. So I'm going to add sugar to this, which is going to obviously create a little bit of a syrup eventually. But to this, we're also going to add our fresh cherries, and you can pit the last few of those okay. for me. And this one has been pitted. These are all pitted. Now, Ow. here's the really nice thing, too. In the event it's no longer cherry season, we're using fresh cherries because it is cherry season. Could you use frozen? You can use frozen. You can also use dried cherries. Oh, okay. Or other types of dried fruit if you want, like uh, dried strawberries. Because what happens then is that the, the, the dried fruit will actually rehydrate oh. in the combination of I don't ingredients. Know what's wrong with me? <laughs> all right. There, there you go. go. You, you would not be outdone by the cherry pitter. Okay, so not. this is going to sit in here for a little bit, and we're going to let this cook down for about 10 minutes, okay? Now, did you kind of really stir that um, sugar so that it doesn't get clumpy in one split? spot or is it really just going to dissolve almost immediately? Well, what happened was the liquid was already getting hot. Okay. Okay, so once that was hot, as soon as the sugar hit it, it started to melt down and it's going to continue doing so. So I just on high heat or not? I do have it on high heat. Okay. It's going to actually come up to a boil, but then what we want to do is reduce the heat just a tiny bit. But we don't want to like bring it down to a simmer because then it'll just take way too long okay. to uh, to cook because we want something a little bit more syrupy. Now, a visual indicator that we have that you'll get when you know it's just right is there going to be uh, big bubbles and they're going to be popping across the surface as opposed okay. to just around and the outside. And that's when we lower it, but not all the way. That's when we turn it off. Oh, gotcha. Otherwise, we're going to get um, what we refer to as sludge. Sludge sounds so delicious. Doesn't I don't know why super you would yummy? want it. So, yeah, so that's <laughs> going to get started. So what I thought we'd do now is uh, talk about our Sabillon and get that going. Okay, so, Sabillon. So, yeah, so here's the cool thing. So we have two different um, culinary terms. We have Sabillon with a Z, Z-A-B-A. Oh, Sabillon, okay. And then we have Sabillon with an S, oh, okay. which sound pretty much the same, right. right? And they're exactly the same sauce except for one difference. And in the Italy, letter. where it starts with a Z, <laughs> it's made with Marsala wine, and we use a little bit of a sweet Marsala. Okay. In France... Where it starts with an S, we actually use brandy, or we can use a muscat or something else, a, a French liqueur. In terms. And does that dramatically alter the flavor of it? It does change it quite okay. a bit, I think. Uh, and it just, you know, I, I like both of them. I don't have any objection with either of them, but I do find that people enjoy the sweet marsala flavor a little bit because the brandy can be a bit, little strong Stronger. sometimes. Right. Okay, so, so let's go back to our bubbles. Is this where we want it? Uh, we're just getting started. So this is going to go oh. for about 10 minutes just like this, though. Oh, okay. So, but yeah, but I, to check in on that is great. So here we have the base for our Zabillon, okay? And this is three ingredients. That's all it is for Zabillon. It's going to be sugar, the sweet marsala, so go ahead and add that in, and then our egg yolk. So go ahead and add that in as well, and then start whisking that together. Okay. Okay. And then what we're going to do, once that's been nicely mixed together, we're going to actually cook that over our, our double boiler here. The reason we don't want to cook it right on the heat is because we run the risk then of curdling our egg yolks, which we don't want to do. It's almost delicious just saying curdling egg yolks, just in and of itself. Now, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit, and you're going to get a whiff of the vinegar, which I know how much you love when I you get that. I do love it when you get Put me so, right in front of that. Exactly. Now, in the double boiler technique, too, you want to be sure that the water doesn't ever touch the bottom of the bowl, but we're using the steam as ambient heat, if you will, to do the cooking of our egg yolks. Okay, so, and you can actually do almost a lazy little whisk if you want, because if we stir too vigorously, we actually cool it down to prevent it from cooking. Oh. Okay. So, leave it alone? Um, yeah, the, well, you want to move it a little bit, otherwise what happens is the, the eggs then do start to cook because of the heat. So we're trying to make a custard here, basically. And then over here, we're going to make this a white chocolate sabillon because we're going to add a little combination of cream and white chocolate. Good gravy. The, the vinegar know. smells well, so pungent. And then, you know what? There's only like a, a tablespoon of vinegar, and the rest of it is the port. You notice how I stand to the left of the, uh, of the vapors, though, and let you stand right there? So um, what we're going to do is you'll see I have a little heat now showing up over uh -huh. here. I'm well, going to add our, our high-quality white chocolate. Now, the difference between white chocolate and chocolate, like dark chocolate, 
people think that white chocolate isn't chocolate, but it is. Okay, white chocolate is actually just has had the cocoa extracted. So they've gone from, you know, a bittersweet chocolate, which has a high qu uh, qu uh, quality okay, I'm out. cocoa powder. Here. Oh, you can't do it. Okay. I can't hang anymore. <laughs> I'm trying. But the white chocolate is just has the cocoa powder removed, so it's all cocoa butter. So it has a, lot, a very high fat content as well. So we're just going to cook this just for a second so it melts down. We're going to enfold this in in the next segment into our zabillon. Okay. Okay, so it must be With a chef S. thing. I could stand here and you it doesn't even bother day. me at all. all Look right. at that. Well, then so, I've got a great deal on a facial for you, all right? Just come <laughs> over to my house. I'm in. It's only $65, and I'll put you right over my stove. <laughs> okay. Okay? <laughs> all right. Well, one chocolate dessert down, and then another here on the way. We're going to continue these sauces, and then we're going to wrap them all up and present them in their beautiful way that, of course, Are you going to present Laura's. them to, An to Andy? We are not presenting them to Andy. <laughs> we are presenting them to... I don't know. The person is yet to be determined. Mm. It will be to one lucky participant in today's studio. Oh. <laughs> all right.